plaintiff, Chanel Jefferson, liked the way the defendant did hair, so she went to her to get a sew-in weave. Chanel claimed she went back to the defendant a short time later because she didn't like the hair anymore. And after the defendant took the weave out, she kept it. Chanel suing for the cost of the hair and emotional distress. Defendant Casey Bly says when Chanel came in to get her weave sewn in, she only had hair remnants with her, not a brand new package of hair. Casey insists Chanel took the hair with her. Therefore, she doesn't know. She's countersuing for defamation. Start with you. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. I'm just really upset that I had to come all the way from California to Chicago because she stole my hair from me. I met her because she needed a model for her hair show in LA. So I was the whole day, I mean, I volunteered my time. I went out of my way for her and I just can't believe that she stole my hair. And where did you know her from? My sister introduced us. Okay. Ma'am, you wanna give me some background? Sure, Your Honor. I've been doing hair for 12 years. I've been at the same salon for nine of those 12. And I have never been accused of anything. I mean, nothing. I have statements from coworkers as well as clients that have never had a negative experience with me. And the fact that- They say you never stole from? <laughs> yeah. They say you never stole from? Well, they say that I'm a person no. of character. Uh, maybe they didn't catch you. I will see. Uh, but but you keep, you're not answering my question. You ever steal from any of them? No, sir. No, I've never stole from anyone. And so the fact that we are here, and she wants to say that, you know, she gave me her time, and, and that's very true. But she didn't say that I provided shoes, an outfit, lunch, and if she would have needed anything else, I would have provided that. Who you get them from, Booster? No, no sir. No. <laughs> you know I'm having fun with you. No, sir. <laughs> and so it is to say that we've, I mean, we never had a negative experience until this incident. All right, you tell me the specifics here. So That's after what the hair show, I liked her, we got along great. So I went back to her so she could do a sew and weave for me. And I brought my own hair. Did she do your hair for the show? She did my hair for the show. She gave you a weave? She did a sew and ponytail weave. All right. So I had her do a full, a full sew and weave for me with my own hair that the I- The first one was a ponytail weave? Uh huh, she provided the hair and- Excuse me, go on, uh, get Debbie, our hairstylist, because I'm already kind of confused. And, okay. Um, I don't know the difference between uh, the various weaves. Uh, so, <laughs> I just don't. And this is getting unbelievable, so. It's getting all confused. Okay. Yeah, Debbie, we have a weave case, and okay. she's already mentioned two types of weaves, and I don't know how many types there are. So, she's saying when she dealt with the defendant the first time, she received a sew-in weave. Is that correct? Yes. All right, and then you went back to get a full sew-in. Yes. All right, so why are we here? So I came back to her a month after because the weave, it wasn't hot, it wasn't holding up long to my satisfaction. So I went back to her so she could take it out. How long was it supposed to hold up? They normally last like three months, at least I, mine can go for And you months. came back one month later? Uh, yes. What was it doing wrong? I didn't like my hair anymore, I wasn't hot, so I just wanted to change my hair You wasn't what? Hot. You weren't hot, no. meaning good looking? Yeah, or? it wasn't cute. Okay. So. so, you just didn't like the way, I just didn't you like didn't the way like, it like your style. I just didn't like the way it was looking. Your style? Right. All right. Debbie, what have you heard so far? She got this done, then she wanted that done. What am I hearing so far? Okay, what, she, what I'm understanding is that she did a hair show for mm -hmm. the young lady here, where she gave her a high pony. That means that she had her hair up and you sewed it around, am I correct? Like a ponytail, and it was long. I actually weaved, so I braided a perimeter around a and circle. I weaved it so that we could pull it into a ponytail. Pull it into a ponytail. And the young lady says, okay, she did my hair. I want to come in. I want to let her weave my hair again. So mm -hmm. she brings in her hair, nine out of 10, premium hair. Right. So she has her to do her hair. A month later, normally, like she said, a great weave will last you anywhere from three to six months. Hers was coming down, so she says, you she know what? She didn't say that. She said she didn't like it anymore. She didn't like it, well. But then it had nothing to do with not coming down. You working with her? No, no, I mean, what's your company, no. Why you misinterpreting no. the word? What she said. Why don't you just get on over there? No, 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 I'm right yeah. here. Yeah. She said. 
that gonna... it was loosening up. Am I correct? She said she didn't like it. That she was the like whole it. purpose okay. of wanting to change. She said that she didn't like it. It wasn't sexy or hard anymore. Well, you do the same thing you do in the back. You want to <laughs> go back and forth with me. <laughs> no, you know I it just... all. You... No. There'd be no at all. No, okay. That's enough. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I have no more I ask for. That thank wasn't you. what she said. That was good. Thank That's you, not girl. what she said. That is not what she said. She didn't say something was wrong with it. You said you wanted it different because it wasn't hot. You wanted a different style. I wanted her to remove the sew and weave and do a glue and weave for me this time. This is a temporary thing. It only lasts like a few weeks. Mm -hmm. So I brought two packets of inexpensive hair just to get me through until my stylist was available to do my hair. Mm -hmm. So I get to her shop at about approximately 12 o'clock. And when I come in, I explain to her that I need to leave at 2.30 because I need to go pick up my daughter from school. She gets out of school at 2.30 and I need to be out of there by 2.30. So by this point, she's still doing my hair. It's 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock at this point. And I'm like, you know, getting really anxious. And, and so what happened? Frustrated, so I rushed out of the store, rushed out of her shop to go pick up my daughter. And, I pick, and then I text her two days later and I let her know that I left my hair and I left my hair at her shop. She texted me back um, saying, I texted her that I left my hair and can she put it up for me? She replied to my text and said, sure, I put it up, like she had already put it up. Okay. I went back to her shop to go um, pick up my hair and she, she said, this is all I have. So when I look at the package that she threw at me, I realized that it wasn't the hair that I brought in. I, I had no idea what kind of hair that was. So what do you think happened? I think she she has it, and she just doesn't want to give it back to me because... Okay, so you think she stole yeah, the hair stole. that you left? Yeah, she won't give it back to me. Okay. Why did you wait two days? I was just... Um, I, I told my sister right away that I left no, no, my no, hair there. No, no, I know. There. Why did you wait two days to call her? It's because I was just busy with my life, and I same thought my reason hair... You, same reason you ran out and left it. No, was, was the same reason you didn't call her for two days because your busy life? You're right. <laughs> you tell me, ma'am, what happened. Uh, while there are sprinkles of the truth in there, it's not the whole truth and nothing but the truth. When she originally came and got the weave put in, first of all, she brought bag o hair. It wasn't like fresh out of a pack, like normally it comes this way, packaged. It was just remnants of hair. She laid them out and told me, oh, well, this is a group and this is a group. And she wanted me to piece the weave together for her which I did, everything was fine. So she left, enjoyed the weave apparently for a month. And then um, when she came back to have it taken out, not only did she get a quick weave, she had the weave taken out, a relaxer put in, and the quick weave put in. So before I start her relaxer, which is a chemical service, I have a limited amount of workspace. So I have photos of my workstation. Let's see it, please. And the client- So what happened with her hair? Is it still her hair or not? No, sir. When she, when, I got done taking it out. I put it in a bag, the bag that she brought this in, and I put it by her purse. The bench that you see in the photo is where 98% of my clients put their purse. So I put it over there. I start her relaxer, take her to the shampoo bowl, I blow dried her, put in the quick weave, and she was in a hurry. So she, kind of, she left in a hurry, but she grabbed her purse and I'm assuming the hair because I don't have it. She said, can I pay you later? I said, no problem. She said, can I bring it to your house? I said, no problem. She calls me, um, she brings me the money, no mention of hair. This is the same like day? This is the same day, she that brought, night. She came back eight, that night? No, she came to my house at 8.30. That same day? That same night. Is that true? I came back to her house, yes. You I told didn't... me you didn't communicate with her for two days. Uh, about the oh. hair. I didn't communicate with her about the hair for two days. You didn't remember that you had left your hair? I did, but I didn't, I didn't tell her that. So you knew that same yes. night That's that true. you had left your hair? I did. But you didn't bother to tell her then? No. You waited two days later? Yes. Okay. Let me tell you the problem you have. <laughs> One, you left it. That was your mistake. I did. She has no duty to cover for your mistakes. She has absolutely no duty if you lose uh, your hair comb there or forget your hair comb and particularly don't come back for two days, she don't have a duty to pay you. That's, you left your hair comb. That's your mistake. She did nothing wrong. What's your counterclaim for defamation? How has she defamed you? The fact that she talked she talk to, um, I know her as mommy. Mer she talked to mommy and what she told mommy? She told mommy that she was gonna follow a police report on me for stealing her hair. 
Okay. And the fact that, and then mommy is in my, is in the, she's a braider. All but right, ma'am, you understand? Yeah. State your name. Uh, Marietto. Did she tell you that she has stole her hair? Yeah. Sure. All right, good enough. And um, ma'am, I'm going to Your grant Honor. her defamation. No, I'm going to grant her defamation. She says you told your witness that she stole your hair. No, I, your I, witness said it. That is indeed defamation unless you can prove that it's true. And you have been unable to Your prove Honor. that it's true today. It's no more, Your Honor. Okay. The person doesn't have a responsibility when you lose something. And you definitely haven't proven this woman stole something. Then that's certainly defamation. That's the worst thing you can say about a person in business that they stole from their customer. Judgment for the defendant. One thousand dollars yours is dismissed. Have a good day. She knows she has my hair, so I don't have That's her hair. Fine.